Hey, it's LTG here. In this series, we'll be working on covering 100% of the map in American Truck Simulator. Leave a comment and tell me where I should go next. Thanks for watching. Santa Claus is ready to drive again. I, I don't know about you all, but pop-ups like that really bug me. Just get out of my face. Let's see. Yeah, four. I'm not going to buy or take a loan out yet, mainly because I think it's 180000 for a garage, and I can only borrow 130 and the account balance is 10000 so I'm not going to be able to afford one anyway, and then I can't afford a truck to put in the garage, so I think I'm going to get up to 150 200,000, something like that. Explosive, flammable gas. We will choose poison. We will choose poison, that it is. I don't know why. Funny. Alright. We're in Gillette. We just took a frack, frack tank. We will not be doing that again. Even though whew, it is the best monies. It is the best monies both ways. And that's the exact same road we were just on. We don't want to do that. I guess we will take the same load and unfortunately. When I when I drive I like to pass through try to pass through places I've never been or end up in places uh, I've never been which on this playthrough it's not going to be that difficult to do starting out at least alright that's 13 speed that's it's not going to affect our range this time but I am going to flip them settings to try to fix that problem I'm having Let's see what is the problem. Keys and buttons, or is it notes? No, it's in controls, I believe. Yeah, H pattern, so gearbox drive, shift or toggles, use switch mode, yes. Shift or toggle, one. So, I don't know. That seems backwards to me in that menu. Shift or toggles, use switch mode. I don't know. We'll see. If it don't work, we'll flip it back. We're in a Peterbilt. Again, a little too close. I don't know what the problem is. Adjust seats. Back me up, boys. Mm. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I about said I need to go forward one more again. Let's see. So first to sixth. And then left side is first through six. Right side is this might be a different this might be automatic no alright so that ain't right what is a problem today if I click the right button again scroll scroll range I think it's correct 
So we'll turn that off because I'll change that. This is pain. First, left side, seventh, right side, 13th. Oh, we're in there now. In there like swimwear, that's what they say. There we go, let's go. So what we look like today. Same exact clothes. Get out here and turn. Big. I don't know what this dashboard is. And we're like sitting on top of the steering wheel, which is a little more realistic, but a little more annoying. See, dude. Don't work too hard over there. Probably creeping around trying to earn his paycheck or something. I don't know. I really do not like this dash. It's, it's really low. Like the Finding a new route. top of the steering wheel right there where it says Peterbilt is really in the way. If I was in there, I would pull the steering wheel down, which I don't know if there is a... Let's just find out. Just lots of just seats. I don't think there is. Oh, there is. Let's see. Let's go. Maybe that I was doing the wrong one. I was. Bad. So bad. There we go. I right, just. And then I'm over revving my engine, whatever. We're just, we're just so good at this. So good. Oh, I got new mail. We are. We're doing it for real now. This reminds me of the quarry at on GTA for some reason. Spend a lot of time in that game. Did I go out the wrong way? Probably could cut through there. Eh. We'll we'll be off roading today. If you, uh, if you want me to do a little more panning around like that when driving, well, not while driving, but like stopping or in these slow sections like this, I'll, I'll do it. I'm definitely going in the wrong way. This is, seems like it's a one way. My F-150 right there. Built for tough is what they'd say. Yeah, I don't need to be driving on these roads because this Logitech will beat and bang and rattle the desk. Or if I'm painting too much, say stop. Quit. Something looks to be working over there. Am I ever going to get out of this place? Who knows? I, I really wish they would add in some traffic on these types of roads, like a big rock truck or something. You got to wait on. That would be kind of cool. Which the gate's gonna go open to the right. I was wrong. <coughs> surprise, surprise. See y'all. Give you a little on the way out. I don't know if I would leave that sitting there, but seems like it could be working. G bus. Oh, G bus. Here he goes. The G bus really stupid. See how it just spawns at the render distance that is. And they would like drop them on your head as I stall the engine out again. Talking to myself. You're gonna spawn somebody right on me, ain't you? North American Mines and Quarries. The Black Coal Mine. 
I've never seen this area. I didn't make it too far into Wyoming since I kind of quit playing this about as soon as it came out. The Wyoming expansion. Now, left side. Oh yeah, we're in there like swimming right now, boys. Well, you're in there. Them textures are kind of scuffed over here closer. Oh yeah. Kind of scuffed. Not worried about it though. Just don't look at it. Close your eyes and hammer down. Let's get that. I like to be, and I use that mirror up in the top right mainly because how much of a pain it is to try to see that and pain and pain pain same thing to paint out pan over there I can't speak boys cannot speak it's all right Go straight on. now I was going to talk about the state of gaming as a whole that it's pretty bad because the battle royale scene has well, I'll, I'll say the Battle Royale scene on top of the loot box era and that type of content and game. Just for me, like, they're both based on luck and, like, the. Then the Battle Pass type reward system. It's either, like, grind. Or pay to win, which is cool if you're, you know, younger and you ain't got real life troubles and responsibilities that you can play Fortnite or I don't know Warzone. I guess they has some sort. And then Halo it pains me to my soul that Halo is went that way, but it's the market. I guess you got to play to it, but. Yeah, Halo. That that hurt me deeply. Because in my opinion, games should be escapism, a way to have fun. I don't like in Warzone specific or like Battle Royale specific I should say. Apex, PUBG, Fortnite, any of those types. I will get mad because people will play the meta which is I guess in arena shooters as well like COD and Halo has always been that way like you gotta play so so much to be competitive in public lobbies which I understand there's a need for that but I do quite enjoy a ranked mode so if I want to play competitively I would I don't want Skill-based matchmaking for me is a negative because it keeps you at, like, for the first week or so, first couple 20 games, 30 games, something like that, all your, you can probably pub stomp, as it used to be called. I don't know if it still is. But once you reach a certain skill gap, skill cap, you'll be placed with other people that are similar, which in turn means you're not going to be getting 50 kill, 100 kill gameplays, whatever the, the goal is. So, you create alternate accounts, which, uh-oh, horses. Let's see, are they doing it? Are you doing it? Nope. Then Wyoming horses might not do it, but it creates a the toxicness of which has always been there but toxic environment of the trash talking and all that which again what I'm, I'm what I'm getting at my main point is lessens the fun aspect of gaming and adds in the competitive where you can't just have fun which I understand if you're better your people you're beating and getting the game plays on are not having the fun, but 
I don't know. I don't. I guess I don't know how to remedy remedy that without. Yeah, you. I do actually. The competitive playlist would hopefully draw those high skill players out of the public. Or yeah, Halo we used to have like the social slayer and the ranked, and then they had the MLG playlist for highly competitive, which was. The heyday of gaming, they've been like the golden days, I would say 70s, 80s back then, then you had your, the arcade scene, which was, I was talking about it a little bit yesterday, going to arcades and playing those types of games, everyone were, it was fun, that was the key, I mean you had your sweaties, in like Mortal Kombat Street Fighter and stuff like that but for the most part it was all fun based games am I going to get a ticket for this right on red nope oh somebody did not me though not yet at least that is a key because it's going to happen Give you some room over a copper. Which is my second PSA. Move over for, if you're driving, move over for people on the side of the road. Emergency vehicles or people like that. Don't want to cause accident. Let's see, how do, what are the headlights was? That headlights right there. Here we go, we just gotta merge and just hammer down and hope and pray on this game. That you don't get wiped out. Because they don't stop. But you had your arcade games that they were all fun based to me. And then before multiplayer started, developers had to put a lot of time and effort into making their campaigns fun either fun in lint for or fun in replayability because I first game when I just said that Super Mario 64 was really fun but to me I, the replayability to that game was not there but then I think about like I don't know like the NASCAR 99 some of like the WWE or the fighting games, stuff like that. Those had the replayability. Or the GameCube game for me, Dirt to Daytona, racing game, had four or five classes. You could, what, what do we got here? 70, we'll do it. You had the four classes, you worked your way up, and then you want to go back and just race exclusively one class or you jump straight to the NASCAR, the top series. Now it's like to get this class you gotta pay, which I'm kinda being a little backwards saying that when high racing is something I quite enjoy. But that's a little different because that's more of a true like a simulation instead of a game. You know what you're you're not driving that in a way for like the campaign or the career because it's not I'm making my character it's like your actual it's you not the character you're putting in there there's a way to look at it it's pretty good pretty good PNG JPEG they got up there for the sky which I'm not bad bad mouth in the developers because this game is really really fun too with the replayability factor which is what I, I'm aiming to do. I'm, Mondays will be the iRace and the new officials. Tuesday will be this trucking and talking podcast type videos. Thursday will be throwback Thursdays from any game that's been released in the past that has been released four or three plus years ago. And the, I'm starting this week with 
Turmoil, a game that's kind of RTS, kind of a strategy resource management where you run an oil company in hopes to become mayor. So, it's pretty fun. I went about halfway through the campaign until I realized I wanted to play it on stream and video, which all, all the streams will go up on Twitch's VOD features, and I'm going to upload them separately to YouTube just as a way to save them personally for me and a way to get more build a community over there what does this check not work Turn left. there we go I'll get these settings worked out one of these days or just I'll get this scale up how about that Look at that car behind me. He's like, Are you okay? Because I'm just going to go around you. I'm scared. Everybody's turning. I'm going to turn it too. But, I guess, before I got sidetracked, the Thursdays will be turmoil first until completion. I don't know if I'm going to attempt to beat it first stream on Thursday. Sorry about it, I just cut you off back there, but you can go around me. In the proper passing lane, I'm about to give you a PSA on don't drive it. Don't be passing the lane, don't be hogging up the left lane, but got it anyway uh, then Fridays will be it, I'm gonna I'm calling it flashback Friday but in a way it don't have to be I'm, I don't know if I'm I might be more of like a dealer's choice or like a chat comments choice and whatever popular whatever everybody wants to see that's what we'll play but I'm gonna keep it as uh, I'm just gonna have to merge in front of this truck cut him off a little bit you'll live we will start out as a flashback Friday as in flash games or browser web browser games whatever you're calling them because flash I don't think is working in the same capacity that it was. We'll be going to a f new game, which is Bloons Tower Defense Battles. But one of the first games I remember playing as Flash Games was the original Bloons, which was more of a strategy puzzle type, where you had to pop the Bloons in certain throws of the darts. And then Earn to Die, that was that was another good one. I think it was kind of like the last stand of you. Like a zombie defense. All those games. And then that was the teenage years coming home from school, playing them. Playing them in school sometimes. Uh, playing I don't know if you all seen that sign. It had the yellow box where they just like place it up there when they was building the game, and it definitely didn't have that square around it. See to the right, the yellow sign. It's got the box around it. It's it's all right. It's just part of it. It's new. They're still working on the bugs, I'm sure. In this new state, what is the waypoint? I really should have stopped at that give y'all something to look at. That's different from my driving, but we missed it, and I'm not turning around, so sorry. And if the light are not good enough in 
the dark. Because it looks decent on stream, it just doesn't look as good as my screen. Because I'm, well, I mean, dragging the internet and all that's a little less quality on stream, as you all should know. If you're tech savvy, which I'm sure many of you are, ten times more than me. That's no doubt about that. And then go back to my flash games, earn a die, blooms, the last stand, congregate, that was pretty fun. Web browser to get on. Play all the games. Uh, there's probably millions of those. But they're not as popular, and like I said, gaming has went away from the fun for sure. Like the indie game scene has stood out to me as being kind of that same realm as the Flash games. Because they focus on fun quite a bit. And replayability as well. Because if you can beat a campaign in 30 or 40 minutes, like the Iron to Die didn't take too long. But you could sit and play the same game over and over. Like another game that I've been checking in on was Adventure Capitalist, which is literally just clicking orange boxes on the screen. But it's very satisfying the jack break in this truck is weak sounding if you know of any sound or like trick mods you want to see I'll create another profile and we'll have a mod like a mud 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 mod showcase videos and if again if it's too dark driving in the dark looks terrible either on the live stream or the video let me know I mean I'll look at it as well but just let me know and I will never drive in the dark I'll pull over at every rest stop and well I wish they were like a time skip or like a which I'm sure you can put in like a command to auto change the time but if there is one I don't know it show Sony well that's definitely not what that said oh I'm glad that we didn't just and then perish in that because I didn't see that until it was way too late Oh, car, where are we going? Thermopolis, where are we at? We're lost. And I don't know if this logos pack that I installed was the best one. I'm sure there's one out there you all know about that's better. day for me in gaming it's probably about 2010 2009 somewhere around there was the Call of Duty was about World at War I would think Modern Warfare 2 somewhere around there then like Gears of War 2 Gears of War 3 Halo 3 Halo Reach like that that little time period was the heyday for me I don't know if we'll ever get back to that. I severely doubt it because that was something you could come home every day, play, literally. Leave school, do whatever, like sports or whatever you're doing. Come straight home, play that till you go to bed. Without fail, every day. That was... Oh, this is one of these. I really hate that. hate these drops where you got like 
break your back to try to turn and then you gotta stop to hit and oh one didn't have to kill the engine yeah I wish they wouldn't do that like I know that there's some of these in real life but like sharp turns and bad spots but at the same time it's a game fun let's I know it's simulation it's supposed to be but let's not make it pain for your players let's see where they want it we will not be doing uh no because the coffee has taken effect and we will be taking a break here in just as soon as I park this for a minute For a minute. So we'll have a little little break. Let's see. Let's take a look at it. I wish you could pan the camera there, but you can't, I don't think. Level Did we get level two? You really like another thing about your I'll say this before I take a, this break. You get just 30 XP or 45 but 30 or 45 it would only be 15 or 30 more compared to 400 total and then I just don't really think especially where I was at in the other the time you take for me being bad at maneuvering the trailer in those type areas the time it takes me to get there and park outweighs the time that I can be all the way through the menu pulling out doing another job so I don't know but like I said if you want to see me be a bot and take 20 minutes stuck in a parking lot on some of them tighter turns I'll do it but it will be pain and it will be cringe to watch I'm sure but let's see I'm on oh we got another one let's see hazardous I will do since we need the money, it's going to be 5% reward experience bonus. So we drink it quicker or 25% and 5%. Long distance is what we're going to go with, I believe. 